Intramolecular medication is given at a dosage of 5.00 milligrams per medication of body weight per kilogram of body weight. If you give 0.425 grams of medication to a patient, uh, what is the patient's weight in pounds? All right, so the 0 0.425 grams of medication is here, and somehow we want to go from grams of medication to whatever the question is asking for, which is pounds of body weight. Okay. In addition, we see in the first sentence that we have a statement here that 5 milligrams of medication are given per kilogram of body weight. Well, that represents a very nice ratio of 5.00 mg of medication for every kilogram kg of body weight. And that's our conversion factor. Well. This unit is 5 milligrams of medication, and we're given 0.425 grams of medication. So we've got to get the 0.425 grams of medication in the gram milligrams first. So 0.425 grams of medication times something over something is going to give us our answer in units of milligrams of medication. Okay, so milligrams goes upstairs and G goes downstairs. When we look up the prefix for milli, it's 10 to the negative 3. That goes with the prefix list unit on the bottom and then one on top. And that's going to give us milligrams of medication, which is going to be 425. We can then take the 425 milligrams of medication, multiply it by something over something, and that's going to give us our answer in units of body weight. In kilograms of body weight, excuse me. And so mg is going to go on the bottom, kg is going to go on the top. And we know for that from the first sentence, it's 1 kg for every 5.00 mg. Finally, we can then take our kilogram of body weight and we can go to pounds of body weight. And we do that from the conversion factor where 1 kilogram is equal to approximately 2.20 pounds. So we're going to take kilograms of weight, multiply it by something over something, and that's going to give us our answer in pounds. So pounds goes upstairs, kg go downstairs, and just 2.20 divided by 1. And when all is said and done, we should get an answer of 187 pounds uh, using the correct number of sig figs. All right, so that's our lesson from general chemistry on quantitative tools. And I want to thank you for your attention, and I'll see you next time on educator.com.